What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. You ain't going to want to miss not one second of madness your homie Grand Tizzle got in store for you. In today's session, fam, I'm going to teach you how to get a more realistic, vivid, and brighter glow with just a few simple, powerful tweaks that we can use in After Effects, Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, fam, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your project and go to your 8-bit and change that from 8-bit to 32-bit. That's gonna make sure that your um, design gonna have more color and more vibrance. Now, the second thing you're gonna wanna do, actually, you can do this if you want to, select all of your brushes, hit the down arrow, and you can change the color by clicking that, and you can change all the colors to whatever color you want. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna uh, pick uh, like a light purple here. You can also go back and as you see the uh, diameter or the diameter, whatever you want to call that, it says seven. You can change it to like four or three or two. So for this tutorial, I'm going to change this to five and that's going to change it for all of them because I got all the brushes selected. Now you want to keep in mind that the glow the threshold and the radius is going to all determine, be determined based on the size of the stroke. So keep that in mind. So now that we have all that set up, you want to go up to your effect, go down to stylize and select glow. Now what we're going to do is set our intensity because we're going to make copies of this. So we're going to set our intensity to 0 0.1. We're going to set our radius to 20 because we're going to multiply this. And we're going to set our threshold to say like just 30, just for now, because that's going to change. Now, once you have that set up, you're going to want to hold Control, click D to make a copy. So now we have Glow 2. We're going to change this radius to 60. And then we're going to want to hold Control D, make a copy. We're going to make this radius three times higher. So we're going to make that 180. And then we're going to hold Control D again, make a fourth one, and then we're going to make that three times higher. So we just hit the star and the three to multiply that by three. And as we see here, we got something nice um, working out, but it's going to get better than that. Now what we're going to want to do is pick whip all of our radius all together. We're going to link all of these together. So what you do is hold Alt, click inside the radius. And then we're going to pick with the radius to the previous radius. So we'll make that three. And in here, we'll put the times three. So we'll put the star three. And then we'll go to that. We'll hold Alt, click inside that radius. And then we'll pick with that to two. So let's make it that radius. And then down here, we'll do the star three to multiply that. And then we'll do the same for two. We'll hold Alt, click inside that radius. And we'll go down here and pick whip that to one, the radius above. And we'll do that times three. So the star, three okay and now what we're going to want to do is pick with the rest so we're going to pick with the threshold and the intensity but we're not going to multiply that so alt click on the intensity of four and pick with that intensity to the intensity above and the same thing And we'll do the same thing for the threshold. So after we have all that set up, everything that we do in glow one is going to affect what's done in glow two, glow three, and glow four. Now that everything is all set up, all we have to do is go over to our radius, drop that down to like four, and look at the pop and glow. That's a beautiful, 
much more cleaner glow, much more realistic glow. And you can adjust your threshold to um, 10. It's at 30 now. You can do 10. And you'll notice the lower you go, the brighter your glow will get. We can even go down to 4 and we got a really nice popping glow. But let's go back up to, let's say, 10. I think that's a decent glow there. And um, that's pretty much it. If you think you might be interested in some other graphic design tutorials, make sure you check out our flyer style design tutorials and you can find that link in the description. Alright, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time, see you in a minute, see you when I spin it, peace.